Hi everybody, it's Nani. Welcome to my life. I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. I found some pretty cool things this time. I think you're gonna enjoy it and maybe be able to go out and find it in your stores. Um, it's kind of a, a mishmash haul, but I'm gonna start like I always do with what was in my thumbnail. I found these, the Premier Protein. I thought that was pretty cool. I know a while back they had a protein drink and maybe it was Premier Protein. You can probably tell me that, but I remember it was um, caramel flavor. I wasn't a super big fan of that. I'm not a real big caramel fan. I was using it in my coffee and it was good. It was very, very good. But I saw these and I haven't seen anybody haul them. These are the peaches and cream flavor. There's 30 grams of protein. Um, it's in an 11.5 fluid ounce bottle, 160 calories, one gram of sugar, um, 24 vitamins and minerals, low fat. So yeah, I saw them. They had a lot at my store, but I only picked up two because I'm, I don't want to spend a bunch of money if I end up not liking them. The caramel ones I went crazy over. I think I got like 20 of them and then I just got sick of it. So, and I'm sure they're still on the shelf, but they're probably expired by now, but yeah I figured pick up two and try it I love peaches and I love having the protein drinks around you know if you get you know a little urge to have something and you know have a protein drink so yeah I saw these and picked them up let's see if I can find an expiration date here they expired the 26th of May 21 so you have a few months you know a few months shelf life so yeah, if you see them, pick them up. If you've already picked them up, you know, and know if they're good, let me know. And then maybe I can, you know, go grab some more. But I actually think I'm going to have one of these for lunch today to try it. So, yeah, I got those. Since we're doing the food, I may as well just go ahead and get the food out of the way here. The food, food, and then I have a whole bunch of candy. So, you know, crinkle alert. Yep, look, two more boxes. Got the Donut Cafe, the Copper Moon. There's four pods in here. I've talked about these probably in every video I've made. Picked up two more boxes. It's a great deal, 25 cents a pod, and they're really good. If you see them, just give them a try. If you have tried them, let me know what you guys think. Do you like them as much as we do? Didn't see any of the French roasts this time. Just it was just the Donut Cafe, and it's getting less and less that we're seeing these. So we just picked up two boxes and you know put them on the shelf and have them. You know, I want to look to see if there's an expiration date on these. I think I did it in my last video, and I did. These are July 6th of 2020. They're both the same expiration date. You know, so nice long shelf life on these. You know, try these guys. I think you, I think you'll like them. And the next thing I found was the snack pack tapioca. I like having these around for when the, the grand ladies are here and even for myself, I love tapioca. My husband absolutely despises tapioca. I usually make my own homemade because it's so much better, but I saw these and thought, you know, well, just grab, grab them and put them on the shelf in case the, the grand girls wanna, wanna give them a try. And I also saw somebody else haul, um, maybe it was Only In My Dreams, Anna, if I got your name wrong, I am so, so sorry, but I believe it's Anna. But yeah, she had picked up the, um, I think it was banana, banana pudding or banana, banana cream pudding. I didn't see those. If I would have seen them, I would have definitely, you know, picked up a pack of those too, because I'm sure they're delicious. So yeah, I picked that up. These are made with real milk. They are, there's four 3.25 ounce cups, 110 calories per cup. Let's see if I can find an expiration date. They expire October 20th of 2021. You know, so you have till the fall to, to eat these up. So yeah, pick those up. A um, couple of little random things I picked up. I still have my Christmas mugs in the cabinet. I actually have the same Christmas mugs that I bought last year from the Dollar Tree. And I, I used them all year last year. But they were the white mugs and one side says naughty and the other side says nice. I love those mugs. They're still in the cabinet, but I want to switch them out and I have so many mugs, but I love these. They're just so pretty, classy and simple and pretty. 
I think it would just make a beautiful mug. If you're gonna make a, you know, a hot chocolate and have some marshmallow cream or marshmallows on the top and sprinkles or whatever, they're just really, really pretty. So I bought two and I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch them out to these. They said they're made in China. They are a green Greenbrier product. It does not say anything on here of what the ounces are. If it does, excuse me, because I just can't see it. It doesn't say if they're microwave or dishwasher safe. There's really no information like that on the bottom. But I would assume they're microwave and dishwasher safe. They're glass. So yeah, I just thought they were simple and pretty. I hope you can I hope you can see that. But they're just clear glass, simple. They seem nice and sturdy, nice handle on it. It fits well in your hand. So I picked up two, and if they have any more the next time I go back, I'll pick up two more. So yeah, I'm gonna just replace my mugs. Another thing I bought that I buy all the time when I see them, because I know eventually they probably won't make this style, but these are the blue stuff sunglasses that I absolutely love. These are my favorite sunglasses, which I have tons from the Dollar Tree. I love their sunglasses there. I had bought a pair a while back. I think I may have hauled them. Got a scratch. I'm, I am so, so hard on my sunglasses. That's why I buy them at the Dollar Tree. And the scratch, excuse me, the scratch is right in the line of sight. You know, I'll still wear them until they're, you know, completely broken and scratched to the point of not being able to see through them. But these are my absolute favorite sunglasses. You know, they have the wider, the wider leg nice the um opaqueness i think you would call that on the lenses is wonderful the only thing i don't like about what dollar tree does is they put these labels on and they are so sticky that sometimes the glue part sticks to the leg of the sunglasses and you end up having to use you know goo gone or whatever to get it off but other than that these are fabulous i love them love them love them they are my absolute favorite sunglasses and i also picked up a new pair of readers. I, I buy my readers at the Dollar Tree. They work great. Same thing with readers. I'm hard on them. I break them. I wear them all the time so I end up you know, losing a screw or breaking the leg or scratching the lenses. But these are a 1.75. They work really well and plus they're so cute. All of their readers there are just cute. So I picked up another pair for myself and I usually get the 1.50 and I've noticed that I'm struggling a little bit to, you know, to read the really small print. So I jumped up to a 1.75 and I'm gonna try these, but look how cute those are. I hope you can see them. So I got those. And look at the cute little legs on there. I thought they'd be really nice for spring. So got those. And I have seen other people haul these and have been saying amazing things. This is a makeup removing rag. They call it the Makeup Vanishing Towel. It's by Sassy and Chic. No soap needed. The size is 7.875 inch by 7.875 inch. It's 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. These are kind of like the microfiber makeup removing wipes. And I believe there is a brand name of these out there that cost like $20. And I've seen a couple, a couple of the haulers out there review these and say that they work amazing so I thought you know I saw it on the shelf and I almost grabbed two and I didn't because I thought if I don't like it you know it's just a waste of a dollar so I'm gonna try this I love makeup so you know I figured I'm gonna try it see if it works well and if it does I'm gonna go back and grab a couple more and just keep them for you know keep them on hand for when this one wears out but it says the directions is run the towel under warm water Squeeze to remove the excess water. Gently rub and massage over face to remove makeup. Follow with your nightly skincare routine. It's made of 100% polyester, and the care of it is machine wash cold. If washing by hand, rinse and lay flat to dry. So, yeah, and of course it's a Greenbrier, Greenbrier product, but I've seen some really amazing reviews on this. So I'm gonna try it. If you guys have tried it, let me know what, what you think. Another thing I got for myself was I saw the men's thermal socks. I wear the men's thermal socks from there all the time. I actually have a pair on right now. I love them. And of course, my feet are freezing this time of the year. Even in the summer, when the air conditioning is on, my feet are freezing. 
I wear socks all the time. But I saw these thermal ones and I you know, thought I'd try them. I'm sure they're, you know, they'll keep my feet warm no matter what, but they're men's size 12, or six through 12, I'm sorry. And they're just called, called the thermal boot socks. They kind of look like hunting socks that, you know, the hunters out there wear. So yeah, I thought, why not? Give it a try for a dollar. You know, it doesn't hurt. If I don't like them, maybe my hubby will want them. So I got those. And another thing I saw that I haven't seen anybody haul yet, it's by Jessie's Girl. It is the Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Super Fine Application. I've, I haven't seen these in the store until this trip. This is the color dark brown. It says it's made in Taiwan and the brush is made in Japan. Distributed by CRL Marketing Incorporated from Oxford, North Carolina, but made in Taiwan. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. I like dark brown eyeliner instead of black. So when I saw this, they did have another color there, but I, I honestly I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was blue or or something like that, like a dark blue. But when I saw the dark brown, I thought I'm gonna try it. So yeah, have you guys seen these yet? The Jessie's Girl liquid eyeliner. We're gonna try it. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to some, this is just one little crafty thing that I got. I saw these in the Crafter Square Shack section. A few videos back, I had showed some wooden boxes that they had in the Crafter Square that I'm gonna make for my daughter kind of an apothecary box using those boxes and then I'll you know, paint them or stain them and glue them together. And I'm gonna put these on the fronts of the drawers. I saw these and I thought, you know, for, for what she's gonna be using it for, for her, you know, her essential oils and, you know, whatever it may be, her herbs and everything. You know, I thought the leaves would kind of go with that theme. And you get in here and you see what they're called. They are called laser cut craft icons. You get six pieces in here, so you get two of each. And yeah, they're, I just thought they were really pretty. They almost look like they're stained. I believe that they're wood. Did it say wood? I don't think that it did, but I assume that they're wood. A lot of the things in Crafter Square is, is wood, so I'm assuming that's what these are. And I think I'm gonna stick with that color scheme when I, when I paint or stain those boxes. And when I get it done, I'll definitely you know, show you guys what I did. So yeah, I thought those were really pretty and picked them up. Um, the next thing are a few Valentine, <laughs> more than a few, some Valentine things that I picked up for, one is a card and I love, love, love their, their voila cards. Just pretty. These are made by Greenbrier. These are not the Hallmark. They're the voila brand, but I just love their homemade cards and this one says happy valentine's day it has a few little little gems and they are they are like the real gems they're you know they would fall off probably if you were harsh with it i'm not going to show the inside because this is actually for my hubby they had so many to choose from and all of them were just super super nice you know but it, this is just a you know it says happy valentine's day and on the back it has a little heart. It also has the the red oh, <laughs> the red envelope and it's in you know the plastic protector you know to keep it nice and clean and everything until you want to give it to whoever you're giving it to. So yeah I picked that up. I thought it was pretty. Um, now I have a whole bunch of candy and things that we picked up for the little grand ladies because I want to get this all packed up here real soon to ship it off to them. The hubby actually saw these and they're just so adorably cute. I'm gonna put all the little Valentine things in a tin and it says, I, I heart you, I love you so much. And it's the cute little sloth and it has the, you know, nice striping on the side or on the, the lid and then on the sides it has hearts and sloths and you know, they're they're chilling out there together. and. But I just thought those were so cute. And they did have these in a couple different sizes. This was the biggest size we could find. And there was one a little bit smaller. I'm not sure if there were any bigger than this. 
but this is the side we got, the size we got, and it's just called a container. So yeah, we just thought that was cute. For Christmas this year, Santa got them sloth book bags, and they are so adorable. They're like, almost like a stuffed animal book bag, and it looks like the sloth is hanging on their back, the way the, the arms and the legs are attached to the straps of the book bag. So when we saw the, the sloth, that just seemed to work. So got that, and then we found these. I've seen other people hauling them. I'm gonna separate this and put one in each one of their, their tins and boxes. But they're the little charm bracelets. I've never bought one of these before, but I've seen other people haul them and really enjoy them. They're like a little fortune cookie. I'm sorry about that. And they have a bracelet, a little charm bracelet on the inside. And these are like for yourself and a friend, but I'm gonna give one to each one of the girls. So I'm not gonna open them to show you what's inside. So yeah, they're, they had a whole big box of them. So yeah, we just grabbed one. I'm sorry this is going to be a probably a crinkle fest from here on out but I saw these they're the Amos brand they're called 4D 3D and delicious gummies fruit artificial flavored apple pineapple strawberries and grapes made with real fruit juice but yet it says artificially flavored it's a 4.2 ounce bag let me see if there's an expiration Best by date is February 6th of 2020, so that's a really long, really long shelf life. But I hope you can see that. The little gummies in there actually look like real fruit. So yeah, I've never I've never tried these, the the fruit gummies. So I thought that would cute and they would enjoy them. This isn't going in their bin. This is just for us to have here when they come to visit. And the next thing I got on that, that same company, it's the Amos 4D 3D Delicious Gummies. And it's, I have to cough guys, I'm sorry. <coughs> also made with real fruit juice. These are the little mini fast food gummies. And I don't know if you can see it in there, but it looks like fries and a little burger and a, there's a, a um, like a drink, a, a cola drink. I thought those were really cute and I thought it would be fun for them to them to try it when they're here. I do have a bag open downstairs that me and me and my hubs opened and they, they just taste like fruit because you know he's like I wonder if they taste like food. It's like no they taste like you know like fruit and they weren't too bad. They were actually pretty good. So they're downstairs open you know in a, in a zippy bag for the girls when they come down. I also got and I'm going to throw some of these in there. These are the, the original six slits. You get um, 25 pieces in there. Just this, the six slits chocolate candies. And everybody knows what six slits are. They come in a little, a little whatever strip, clear strip with a bunch of little, the six slit little balls in. But they were Valentine, you know, so I, I pick those up and throw a couple, couple of those in their bin and then, or in their, um, their tin, you know, and then keep the rest for here in the, in the candy dish. I got some Brock's, the um, the Conversation Hearts. You know, everybody knows what these are, and in my opinion, Brock's is definitely the best best brand to get. The best by date on these is February of 2022, so you're good for you know for a whole year on these. Just you know, just the Conversation Hearts. I also got these. I was gonna get the the big boxes of the Sour Patch Kids, but they wouldn't have fit in their little tin. So my husband actually found these in the Valentine candy section and they're the smaller boxes and these are the Sour Patch Kids Conversation Hearts. You get four, four point eight eight ounce boxes. Um, I'm trying to see if it says sour then sweet. I don't see if there is a particular flavor. Our elder granddaughter loves the Sour Patch Kids, the watermelon. But when we saw these, we thought they're smaller, you know, smaller boxes, they'll fit in the tins. So yeah, we're gonna separate those and, and put them in. And the next thing are candy bracelets. Everybody likes candy bracelets. You guys remember these from when we were kids? And at Valentine's Day and, and Easter too, I, I, if I see them, I pick them up. But they are the, oh, they're the Amos brand too, the same as the little fast food gummies. But yeah, you get 10, 10 pieces in here. And they're they're just the little little bracelets. I don't see any like any bigger charms or anything hanging on them, the candy things, but 
But yeah, they, they enjoy these. So when I see them, I pick them up and I'll throw a couple in. And my youngest granddaughter loves lollipops. She is a dum-dums girl. I usually keep a mason jar, you know, filled with dum-dums. And my older granddaughter as well, she likes lollipops too. And when they were down this last time over the um, New Year break, I had forgotten that I had given her, I only had a few left the visit before, and I just gave them to her to take home. And I forgot to refill the mason jar. And when she was down for this visit, of course she had no lollipops. So we saw the dum-dums and picked them up. These, this says original pops, free of major allergen, allergens. It's a 3.5 ounce bag. And you can see it's just the normal cotton candy and orange and all those typical flavors in there. So we picked those up and I also saw these. They are the Charms Mini Pops, and it says ton of cool flavors. You get 35 pops in here. It says peanut free, 6.3 ounce bag. So they're, they're the Charms Mini Pops. And on the back, it actually has the list of all the different, different flavors that you get in the bag. And I'll read that for you here, it says, Watermelon, blue raz, bubblegum, cherry, grape, orange, strawberry, green apple, tropical fruit punch, banana, cotton candy, strawberry lemonade, orange cream, earth day cake, root beer float, apple pie, mango, and lime aid. And the best buy date on this is August of 2022. So, you know, these last a really long time as well. So, we got, got those for the ladies. And last but not least, I saw this past Christmas, a lot of people, they were buying the towels, the holiday towels and putting them in a box like every month, collecting for every holiday, summer, spring, fall type hauls, putting them in a nice gift box and then giving that as a gift. And I thought that was such a cute idea, you know, for somebody, I love towels. I love the towels from the Dollar Tree just to hang as decoration, all their cute little ones with the the funky little, you know, prints that say silly things and, you know, I love you to the fridge and back and all of that. And I thought that would be such a really nice gift to give someone, you know, for every holiday, you know, Valentine's Day. I, I have no, had no luck finding Valentine towels. So, you know, I know they're out there. I just haven't found them. But I'm going to do a little twist on it and I'm going to make the grand ladies for every, every holiday, I'm going to collect a pair of socks and give them a little gift box at Christmas time with all the different different holiday socks in. So I got, and I can't find kids socks. Has, do you guys know if there's, you know, children's size holiday socks out there right now? With the Valentine and the St. Patrick's Day, they were all either women's or men's, no children's. Maybe I'm just too late to the game, I don't know. But these, I know my older daughter, these will, or older granddaughter, these will fit. But the younger one, eh, they might still be a little bit big. But these are both called crew socks. They're the ladies five to nine, um, made in China. You know, these have these are Valentine's Day, and this one has the cute little little hedgehog, and it says love in little heart shaped balloons that he's floating on. It has a pink around, little pink around the cuff and pink at the heel. I guess that's the toe and the cuff and the heel, and I just thought those were so adorable. And then this one is, of course, the gnome that everybody is freaking out over. Same thing, crew socks, five through nine. Um, and this one at the top, if you can see, it says, be mine. The cute little gnome holding a pink heart. And the same, it's the cuff, the toe, and the heel are, are pink. The main part of the sock is gray. So I got those two for Valentine's Day to put away. And then these for St. Patrick's Day. And these are called the low cut. Both of them are women's low cut socks. Same five to nine. This one has green around the cuff, the heel and the toe. And this one has little sheep and it's wearing a little leprechaun hat with the shamrocks. And it, it's kind of fuzzy. You, it's, you know, the white part of the sheep, it's definitely raised off the sock. And then this one is the the same thing, women's low cut five to nine. 
this has white and white at the cuff, white at the heel and white at the toe. And this is the llama. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open that very nice to, to show you, but it's the little llama. And is he wearing a, a shamrock hat too? He has a little, or leprechaun hat. He has a little leprechaun hat kind of above his head and looks like he has a little, little shamrock headband on. But I just thought those were really cute. So next I'm gonna be looking for Easter. Um, Easter and then probably 4th of July looking for socks and I need to find a nice little gift box to put them in as I'm going along. So that's it for this haul everybody. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for coming back and thank you guys so much for your kind comments. I really truly appreciate it. It means the world to me. Oh and one thing I wanted to show you. This is the the um, mask lanyard that I had showed in one of my last hauls. I took the hooks off and just reattached the chain and made it into a little necklace. I hope you guys can see that. Please don't mind my dark circles today. My goodness. But yeah, I thought it was really pretty. And I'm definitely gonna look to see if they have some other styles. You know, a dollar and make yourself a cute little necklace. You know, I, I, I love it. So yeah, I thought I'd show you that. But anyway, I'm sorry, rambling again. Thank you all so, so much. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you again here real soon. Peace.